Never a bar of water then to be no way, no how, no where. You say, trust me, I'll wait and see, no way, no how, no where. Should I jump for joy or dance a jig? Invest my dough in something big. No, it's lipstick on the same old pig, no way, no how, no where. New financial instruments, no way, no how, no where. Growing and growing increments, no way, no how, no where. This the greatest Gebert scheme, greatest thing since Vaseline. It's a pipeline full of pipe dreams, no way, no how, no where, no way. I'm skeptical, you're twitching with your eye. What is that you're trying to sell? Here's a diet pill for a big fat lie. I want it all, want it now. But put in those 10,000 hours, no way, no how, no where. I want the knowledge and the skill. I want the view from on the pill. Maybe get that as a pill, no way, no how, no where. Skeptical, you're twitching with your eye. What is that you're trying to sell? Here's a diet pill for a big fat lie. Want it all and I want it now. No way, no how, no where. But put in those 10,000 hours. No way, no how, no where. You know, I want the knowledge and the skill. I want the view from on the hill. Can I maybe get that as a pill? No way, no how, no where. Well, this new thing you call the wheel, no way, no how, no where. It rolls around, is that the deal? No way, no how, no where. Is that the latest Gebrit scheme? Think since Vaseline, it's the dumbest thing I've ever seen. No way, no how, no where. Yeah, that's the dumbest thing I've ever seen. No way, no how, no where. That's the dumbest thing I've ever seen. No way. No how, no where. Hi, <laughs> and welcome to the broom cupboard, as it's been called. It's not really a broom cupboard, it's actually a soundproof room that I built in my apartment. The landlord doesn't know about it, um, <clears throat> so we keep it quiet. But it's just to uh, keep the noise away from the neighbours. But it's very small, as you can uh, no doubt tell it's extremely cramped in here and it's also very hot um, but it works it's just about enough elbow room to play uh, some piano and sing some numbers so I put together a little uh, program for the next uh, half hour or so and um, a couple of uh, upbeat pop numbers and then a couple of um, uh, crisis related uh, numbers that just seem to fit the theme a little bit so starting upbeat and uh, gradually ending on some um, some melancholic uh, downbeat stuff, um, maybe a little protest song to finish off with. Um, this next one is uh, definitely an upbeat thing. Um, sent this to the Eurovision Song Contest a couple of years ago. Didn't get anywhere. It didn't even get considered. But um, did a video of it just the other week and it was very popular. So um, got to play it again for you. Uh, this is a uh, this is a tune called Thelma. For Mary Jane and Dream Street Rose, the hearts all fell like dominoes. But Thelma, no one was looking your way. You're as sexy as a girl can be, at any rate in my fantasy. Oh, Thelma. You know I've fallen in love That 
wasn't how you were meant to be With your clean-cut style and your modesty Oh Thelma, you know I've fallen in love Behind the specs and the baggy clothes There are depths that no one knows You're a firecracker waiting to explode You're the one I'll be dreaming of When the paint and powder's all worn off Oh Thelma, you know I've fallen in love Behind the specs and the baggy clothes There are depths that no one knows You're a firecracker Waiting to explode And you're the one I'll be thinking of When the paint and powder's all worn off Oh Thelma, you know I've fallen in love Winter, spring, summer, fall Never noticed you at all No oh, Thelma Not until today Thelma As rejected by the Eurovision Song, Con Song Contest In two countries in 2017. Um, I've since been told that um, I don't watch television, so I don't know much about how the Eurovision Song Contest is now. I remembered it back in the 70s, um, which is probably about the last time I saw it. But I've been told that there was no wonder that didn't get in because uh, now it's much more about um, sort of men in drag. Um, perhaps you have to do something a little bit more, a bit more camp uh, to get a look in in the Eurovision Song Contest, which is actually a sort of a link to the next number I'm going to do. Um, but before I do that, I'd just like to say hello, hi, Khan, that's my daughter, and, um, and Anger, hi Madai, Torben, Bjarke, yeah. lots of Danish friends coming on, nice, nice to see you, well I'm not seeing you, you're seeing me, but uh, nice to see your names and uh, some, some likes um, floating up on the screen there. Yeah, anyway, so uh, talking about things a bit more camp and a bit more uh, draggy, men in women's clothing. I have a song actually about men in women's clothing and I wrote this back in uh, 2004 um, and uh, this never got sent to the Revision Song Contest and it can't get sent because it was actually it's been released but anyway it's a uh, slightly appropriate number to follow the last one um, because this is a number called Dorothy and it's about a man in drag. Uh, it has sort of connotations of the Wizard of Oz, um, Judy Garland, very campy Anyway, this is uh, Dorothy, and it goes like this. Dorothy shaves two times a day, takes pride in her appearance, takes a deep breath and prays to the mirror to be merciful and treat her kindly. It may look like vanity, but that's only part of the truth. Under her clothes, she's the queen of tattoos, stumbling around in borrowed shoes. Dorothy walks with eyes down, trying not to draw attention to the small details that don't quite fit. It's a unified impression she's trying to give And it may look like nervousness But that's only part of the truth For deep down she is breaking the rules 
laughing each time she fools you And she fooled you good this time Keeping your pretenses while I cultivate mine If they knew what you kept in your closet Would your girlfriends still be girlfriends? There was a man who wanted to feel Just what I was like to be you with your powders and paints, your old cologne be the careful scheme behind the floral show and it felt like violation. Almost better than sex, felt like the best and the worst of all worlds. Like birthdays and Christmas and Armageddon, you wanna get drunk and celebrate. Cry and let the makeup run If they knew what you kept in your closet Would your girlfriends still be girlfriends? And she fooled you good this time Keeping your pretenses while I cultivate mine If they knew what you kept in your closet Would your girlfriends still be girlfriends? Dorothy shaves two times a day Takes pride in her appearance Takes a deep breath Face to the mirror to be myself full Treat her kindly, it may look like vanity But that's only part of the truth Under her clothes, she's the queen of tattoos Stumbling around in borrowed shoes Borrowed shoes, red shoes, Dorothy the Wizard of Oz. That was about a man in women's clothing. Um, jumping way off of that subject on, onto a completely different one. Uh, we're in the middle of a, a crisis um, with an epidemic and one of the uh, things that was a, um, what do you call it, a, uh, a prominent feature of the crisis in uh, for a few weeks ago, after a few weeks ago, was people hoarding, going to the supermarket and just buying loads and loads of um, Certain things, not everything, certain things. Yeast, toilet paper. Why yeast and toilet paper? Don't know. Something for each end, I think. Something in the mouth and something out the other end. People worry about things like that. They worry about something at each end when there's a crisis. Anyway, this is a song that uh, has something to do with hoarding. Um, it has to do with a lot of other things as well. Um, but it's generally a uh, sort of rather aggressive thing <laughs> uh, called Sue Me as in, uh, in the legal sense, and um, this is sort of a rebellious thing, I suppose. Well, I think when I wrote it, I was being ironic, but the, the older I get, the more cynical I get, the more I realize it's kind of more like the truth. Anyway, this is a thing called Sue Me. You see my trees are stealing your light, Sue Me. They say my car is blocking your drive, sue me So what if I like to party all night? I build my outhouse where I like And if you don't like it, you can take a hike, oh, sue me Bought all the toilet paper in the store, sue me Yes, I'm expecting a third world war, sue me I dug me my very own hole in the ground Gonna hide with my woman till things cool down I'd invite you to the threes a crowd, sue me Why don't you sue me, 
Take me to the cleaners and hang me out to dry Sue me, let's get legal I'd sure like to see you try Maybe I'm an anarchist Sue me Once and for your blacklist Sue me I'm getting going while the going's good I never do what the hell I should If you think you own the neighborhood yes. Why don't you sue me? Take me to the cleaners and hang me out to dry. Sue me, let's get legal. I sure like to see you cry. Maybe I'm an anarchist. Sue me. One more sin for your blacklist. Sue me. I get going while the going's good I never do what the hell I should If you think you own the neighborhood Sue me Well, sue me Come on and sue me Come on and sue me Let's get legal Well, there you go. Sue me. Cheers. Oh, hi, Peter. Peter, up in Blockus. You're in the now. Whoa, whoa, in the closet now. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> love it. Great. Um, and uh, Anna Christine. Nice to see you. Um, yeah, next number. This is also in the, in the theme of... Uh, of crisis, um, but in a slightly different vein. Um, lots of people are very bored at the moment, I think. I'm bored, that's why I'm doing this. And I think boredom is uh, something that people have been talking a lot about, especially with their kids at home. Uh, kids getting bored, the parents are trying to do their work, can't do your work, get bored, so do something else. And this is a song about boredom. Um, as I say, it went from upbeat down to melancholy and downbeat and now we're going to get downright depressive um, but on a brighter note with this this is a song that quotes uh, one of my favorite things in the world spaghetti western love a good western love a good spaghetti western and if anyone can remember the uh, the trinity films um, that was uh, what's his name terence hill and what's his called the other guy yeah forget forget his name but terence hill the uh the actor in um, those Trinity films, and this is from one of them. Um, the title of this uh, is called "This is called Sunday Afternoon," and it comes from a spaghetti western. I can't remember the title of the film, uh, but I saw it once, and it had this very funny line in it. I thought it was funny. Um, people were talking about they were sitting in the saloon and having a guard game and wondering when anything was going to happen, and somebody said, um, "This town's one long Sunday afternoon," um, and this crisis certainly feels like one long Sunday afternoon. So here comes. Sunday afternoon. You got big plans. Good luck with that. Man can spend his whole life picking fluff out of his navel. Me, I've held this fence post up for five and twenty years. We can't all be superstars. 
some of us have a job to do You're always searching Good luck with that Man must take contentment where he finds it Me, I've got the four walls to whisper in my ear There's a world out there and I've already seen it So do yourself a favor Hop on a bus to the city And leave us in our bottom and misery She might cry when you're gone But not for long, not for long Cause nothing ever happens and nothing ever will This town's one long Sunday afternoon You had your fun And now it's on Man must recognize the time to pack up and move on. Life goes on regardless. You can't compete with that. Better the rut you know than the traveling show. So do yourself a favor. Hop on a bus to the city and leave us in our boredom and misery she might cry when you're gone but not for long not for long cause nothing ever happens and nothing ever will this town's gone long Sunday afternoon So do yourself a favor, hop on a bus to the city and leave us in our boredom and misery. She might cry when you're gone, but not for long, not for long, cause nothing ever happens, and nothing ever will. This town's one long Sunday afternoon This town's one long Sunday afternoon it's a very long time since I've played a lot of these numbers, so I'm looking at the uh, the words which I've pasted up on the wall in front of me. Um, trying to look into the camera a little bit, but uh, there's a lot going on. A lot of my older songs are really full of lyrics. I've been a little bit more minimal in my more recent songwriting, but um, a lot of these old ones are really full up with words, so I had trouble, diff trouble enough remembering them um, anyway, without them being like that. But so. This was the last number I planned to do um, today. Um, and as I say, it's a little bit of a, I, was, I said protest, I think protest is the wrong word for it. It's a more a commentary uh, on, the, on the present situation. Um, I was uh, laying asleep, sleepless uh, the other night and uh, had a couple of ideas and um, I rather like this uh, well, it struck me the other week. I was out um, actually working, um, doing a job. I wasn't coming into contact with anyone, so don't worry. Um, but I was driving around in the streets of Copenhagen uh, on a Friday, and um, it struck me that um, Friday afternoon in Copenhagen is usually at about 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock. Um, driving out of Copenhagen to come back to uh, South Shetland is really a lot like uh, 
you know, it's it's rush hour, so it's pretty crazy normally. Rush hour starts at about one o'clock in the afternoon on a on a Friday in Copenhagen. This was uh, three or four o'clock on the afternoon Friday, and it was a, it was a Sunday. It was just like a Sunday, and I thought, well, this is just every day Sunday, uh, which is which has its merits. Um, and then I thought of this English saying we have: a month of Sundays. It'll never happen in a month of Sundays. So even if uh, we had a whole month where every day was Sunday, it wouldn't happen. And um, I rather like this little theme because uh, right now we have exactly what I would call a month of Sundays. Um, so this is me just uh, taking this this um, phrase, this saying of the English language and, uh, and turning it in a few different directions. So this is called a month of Sundays. Once upon a time, I would have said Not in a month of Sundays We'd all stay home and hang our head Not in a month of Sundays Now I think I've seen it all Looks like the writing's on the wall Greta Thunberg might even finish school for here's a month of Sundays Could Armageddon get put on hold In a month of Sundays After all that we've been told In a month of Sundays They all cried wolf, it never came Nothing could make your name or a real crisis came For here's a month of Sundays Do nothing till you get the call But dance around the furniture And climb on the walls Who knows what the future brings in a month of Sundays From the news of other things In a month of Sundays I rub my eyes and lift my head Consider getting out of bed Better turn on, tune in, drop dead For here's a month of Sundays Do your duty, stare at the four walls Let's coordinate our efforts to do nothing at all A fish can't ride a bike in a month of Sundays But who knows what things could look like in a month of Sundays Is the problem worse than the fix? The bogeyman and the bag of tricks As if life wasn't full of risk In a month of Sundays I rub my eyes and lift my head Consider getting out of bed Better turn on, tune in, drop dead for here's a month of Sunday. Hi, Bob Arne. Hi, Maria. Maria Huggett from England. Nice to uh, to see you on my screen there with my first uh, live going live broadcast. 
I thought actually I was uh, in quarantine, as in um, quarantine from Facebook, because um, I had a warning a few days ago saying that you wouldn't be able to go live for 30 days because I mentioned an unmentionable person. Um, but it doesn't seem to be the case. So, um, you know, and I think it's kind of, kind of fun. So I think I might continue doing this uh, for a few days more. Um, I've certainly got plenty of songs. This last song is not released anywhere yet. It will come on an album which actually already has a title and the album's title is Turn On, Tune In, Drop Dead. Now that wasn't something that came from this song. That was the title I already had. And while I was writing this song, I thought, ah, that's a little place to slot that in. Uh, that will come. But everything else I've done today um, is available actually um, for download and, um, and to be looked at on YouTube and whatever. So I'll put some uh, links to that in the, in the comment thing here um, so that if anyone's interested in going uh, and looking at my old back catalogue about 20 years of it um, feel free to do so uh, as I say all of these songs are available except for the last one here um, which will be coming um, in a sort of a full version so these things are all recorded um, in the broom cupboard um, and in my studio home studio over the years um, like with the full band sound so um, so feel free to uh, to go uh, on a voyage of discovery and enjoy uh, and if you enjoyed this give it a like um, and uh, hopefully I'll be back again um, tomorrow thanks for watching <laughs>